Today, I'd like to um, introduce the Shen Tian Breathing Qigong exercise. Um, Qigong is Qigong. Is the qi is the qi, the life force energy that we always talk about here. Gong means the cultivation or uh, manipulation or working with it. So Qigong is an exercise or action to work with your qi. So uh, breathing Qigong is the using a breathing technique and breathing exercise to uh, nourish and cultivate your qi. So this, this one is called the Shen Tian because the purpose of the, this Qigong exercise is to nourish the pre-heaven essence. Pre-heaven essence is one of the two essence that we have um, in our body. One is pre-heaven, which is um, what we're given from parents. And the other is the post-heaven, which is what we nourish through the digestion and sleeping and appropriate exercise. So this one, this breathing exercise is nourished a part of the essence that's actually given from the parents called the pre-heaven essence. And it really determines the uh, quantity and quality of the pre-heaven essence really determines your health and longevity. So it's really um, important that we take care of it. We conserve it. We take it as a treasure and maybe we can do this exercise to improve it. Okay, the position of this Qigong exercise is seated. We're not going to be standing. We're not going to be doing anything much difficult. It's just sitting, breathing exercise. So anyone can do. Anyone uh, who can sit straight can do this exercise. Before we go into the actual exercise, I need to explain the ratio of the uh, breathing which is the uh, most important part of this exercise. So inhalation, exhalation, in between, we hold. The, when we hold the breathing is where our pre-heaven essence is nourished, okay? So the ratio is one, four, two. It is a ratio, so it can be one, four, two. So the inhale with a count of one, Hold it for the count of four and exhale with count of two or two, eight, four, three, twelve, six, four, sixteen, eight, whatever. It's uh, your ratio is the most, um, what's the matter? Sometimes people say that uh, at the exhalation, they don't have enough oxygen, uh, uh, enough uh, breath to exhale. So they keep make uh, the ratio uh the inhalation longer and longer, hoping that they, they get more uh, air. It's, I don't think it's uh, the matter of the air that you breathe in. It actually the amount of the breeze that you control to breathe out. So when, when you exhale with the count of four, let's say, and if you don't control well, and then you empty your lung at the count of two, then you will be gaping for the air at the last count of two, right? So when you, when you are um, doing the 284, make sure your exhalation is slow enough so it lasts for the count of four. So when, I, uh, when we do the 4, 16, and 8, it's really challenging. You may cough at first, but when you get into it, you can do it. Uh, I like doing a 4, 16, 8, but if you're just starting like a 284 or 3, 12, 6, I think it will be enough. Okay, so before we do this breathing part, we're gonna uh, do the teeth clicking 32 times. Okay, and then you will notice that as you click your teeth, the saliva accumulates in your mouth. Then use your tongue to clean your teeth. So the uh, bottom and top teeth, front and back. So make a one, uh, Make a uh, one trip, so the front of the top teeth, then the front of the bottom teeth, uh, the back of the top teeth, and then the back of the uh, lower teeth. And this three times. So you, you do this whole thing three times. Then you really notice that the, your mouth has full of saliva. Then you swallow the saliva in Three, uh, three times. 
and then one more. Now you repeat the uh, two and then the three for two more times. So you do the set of the two and then the three, three times. Okay? And then we do the breathing exercise. So we'll do this when we are seated. Okay? Uh, when we seated, make sure that uh, your chair is uh, not too high. It cannot be like a bar stool. It needs to be low enough that the, your both uh, feet are firmly grounded on the ground. Uh, palm on the kneecap. So make sure you pick a right chair, preferably not a spinning like an office chair. Um, but if you think you can ground well, I think it's okay. Uh, so no rocking chair, no bar stool. Uh, it needs to be something firm and uh, maybe it's better to have an elbow because sometimes when you hold the uh, air too long, um, you may feel fainting, right? And then it's better, it's safer that you have uh, elbow part if in case you have a fainting spell. Um, so if you, this is a disclaimer, if you know that uh, you, you have small capacity in the lung, don't try 468, start with the 142, okay? Uh, I don't want anyone to faint here, uh, please don't. You can avoid it. If you do if you do this right, you don't have to faint. You don't have to feel like you're fainting. So if you feel like you're fainting, your uh, your exhalation is, uh, the control was too, it wasn't well enough. So you go back to 142. If you are 284 and if you're fainting spell, go back to 142, okay? So we're gonna sit and then uh, we're gonna do from one to and then do two and three for three times and then the breathing exercise. This part, breathing exercise, we need 16 minutes. So you, you need a timer uh, for 16 minutes. But today we're gonna have uh, Kathleen. Uh, Kathleen is my friend who is a psychotherapist and then she does sound therapy with the glass bowl. So she uh, pray, she's going to pray uh, something beautiful for 16 minutes. Um, so we're going to be listening to her uh, healing um, music using her sound bowl and then we're going to do this breathing exercise. Okay? Great. Let's start. <laughs> 